so the topic here is lung abscess under pulmonary infections you will be asked the etiologies for uh, lung abscess so basically abscess is a localized area of necrosis so what is abscess it's the localized area of necrosis with suppuration so basically that's going to be pus here right so two words here that you should write local area of necrosis we are talking about pulmonary infection here local area of necrosis with suppuration okay so there is there are two types of lung abscess you have primary lung abscess that develops in normal lung right and uh, secondary lung abscess is because of complication of some other disease that disease will come to lung i mean that infection will come to lung and affect that type of the secondary lung abscess okay what is primary lung abscess where it affects the lung directly that is primary lung abscess secondary lung lung abscess is where a disease elsewhere in the body will come and affect the lung so you saw one more two more words here primary and secondary the next question that they are asking you is etiopathogenesis of lung abscess so what is the etiopathogenesis they are asking you three uh, etiologies here aspiration of infected foreign material so there is some infected foreign material so basically they to say either foreign material which is having some bacteria or something that infected thing is going to get aspirated into the lung it could be some organic matter right it could be some food it could be some uh, gastric contents that may get aspirated to the lung right so all these can cause uh, uh, lung abscess some infection in the lung so basically you should the word you should never forget here is the infection of lung okay then <clears throat> preceding bacterial infection preceding bacterial infection so basically here the preceding bronco pneumonia um, you know of a patient may develop into lung abscess so they had a bronco pneumonia that is developing into a lung abscess so infective conditions like tuberculosis bronch bronchiectasis mycotic infections they can result in lung abscess so preceding bacterial infections like uh, what did they say tb then bronco pneumonia these can lead to lung abscess then bronchial obstruction so when there is obstruction what happens an abscess may form distal to the obstructed uh, uh, bronchus right so that can be uh, what obstructions can be there the obstruction can be a foreign body or even a tumor so distal to the obstruction now let us say here there is an obstruction right so distal to that here there will be a lung abscess right because here it is obstructed this part is not at all getting any uh, proper uh, supply what it needs so it might develop into an abscess okay that can further lead to bronchiectasis also the fourth etiology you will mention is the septic embolism guys septic embolism so septic embolism means some infected emboli which is arising uh, you know some thrombophlebitis or something that can go and become an emboli there so it can become septic emboli so basically what do you mean by emboli so let us say this is a tube right and this gets completely blocked so this is an emboli so this is a septic emboli if it has bacteria okay let us say the heart itself has some uh, vegetation some endocarditis infective endocarditis that can become an emboli and come and affect the pulmonary system so that can be a septic emboli okay so then you have some other uh, miscellaneous causes for lung abscess miscellaneous causes for lung abscess so rarely lung abscess uh, may be because of uh, uh, pulmonary infarct uh, leading to infection then amoeba entamoeba histolytica trauma to the lung also then uh, basically because of esophagus or uh, some other kind of uh, suppuration that can get extended into the lung okay so miscellaneous what and all you will write infarct pulmonary infarct then entamoeba histolytica amoebic abscess you know extra ame uh, extra intestinal amoebiasis right entamoeba histolytica right then trauma itself to the lung can cause an abscess then direct extension from a suppurative focus in the mediastinum esophagus etc from some esophagus or some mediastinum some suppurative that is some infection from there coming here suppurative focus which will extend direct extension okay so this is about lung abscess so usually a 
uh, there can be primary lung abscess and secondary lung abscess you know primary lung abscess basically the most uh, it will be a single large uh, due to aspiration it will be located in the lower part of the right upper lobe that's what they're saying common location they're saying common location for the primary lung abscess will be the lower part of the right upper lobe so let us say this is the upper lobe of the right side so the lower part of the right upper lobe will be the common location for the primary and for the secondary it will be multiple uh, locations would be there for secondary okay multiple so multiple and small multiple and small uh, locations primary will be single and large right usually upper right lobe okay lower part of upper right lobe usually is affected in primary infection okay so what will you see in gross and microscopy in the gross let's say this is the lung so in the gross what will you see basically you will see it is 5 to 6 centimeter and diameter is uh, so basically it will be few millimeters to large cavities okay so basically uh, what else you will see the cavity contains exudate okay then it is surrounded by acute pneumonia it has poorly defined ragged wall they are saying with passage in time the abscess can become chronic and develop into a fibrous wall okay histologically if you see under the microscope what will you see now let us say under the microscope we are looking at it right what will you see basically there is a destruction of the lung parenchyma with suppurative exudate lot of pus you will see suppurative exudate you will see in the lung cavity the cavity is initially surrounded by acute inflammation right uh, but then in chronic inflammation it is composed of lymphocytes plasma cells macrophages so standard things you will write lymphocytes plasma cells macrophages all the <clears throat> infl uh, inflammatory cells then further if it is uh, left then it you will see fibrosis okay there can also be secondary amyloidosis in uh, chronic cases okay so basically these people will have uh, uh, it's an infection right so people will have fever right weight loss cough purulent expectoration they can have right pus in the sputum they can have hemoptysis they can have so that's it about uh, lung abscess guys hope you have understood lung abscess meet you in the next video bye bye